your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, most of the weekend is actually looking okay. I think the second half of the weekend will be especially nice. We'll talk about why coming up in just a few minutes. First, I want to rewind the radar clock back to 240 this morning. This is right around the time when we had not one, but two tornadoes touched down in Massachusetts. Now you can see at 240, that first one was in the town of Upton. You can see that represented by that top tornado icon there. Now we're going to rewind the clock about 10 minutes to 230 this morning. That same th storm produced a tornado there in Douglas, Massachusetts. We're going to rewind a little bit more. Notice where the storm was. About 2 in the morning, it was right over Rhode Island. So this just goes to show you that while we don't get a lot of tornadoes here in the Ocean State, we do get some close calls, and this morning was certainly one of them, as this parent thunderstorm right here produced these two tornadoes that had passed into Massachusetts. Fortunately, it did not put down a tornado in Rhode Island. All right, let's move on to some more tranquil weather, although nothing tranquil about the weather right now here in the western part of Pennsylvania, upstate New York, where we do have some thunderstorms, and we could see our own thunderstorms by late tomorrow night into portions of Saturday, although I do think most of that time will be rain-free. More on that in just a second. At Oakland Beach and Warwick, the visibility is in pretty good shape. We'll be on the lookout for some patchy fog to move in tonight. Temperature in Newport is uh, 72 right now, 73 in Tiverton. It's another warm, humid night. And that's because this front, which will eventually push out the humidity, takes its time doing that. So we're going to be under this humid flow of weather for tomorrow and a good portion of Saturday as well before finally we clean out this air mass and bring in that lower humidity. So we're going to take you hour by hour into tomorrow. We're actually stopping the clock fairly late tomorrow afternoon around 5 p.m. Notice it's dry over our area, but in western Massachusetts, chance of a few stronger thunderstorms could be developing. I think the best chance to get a little bit of precipitation, maybe some scattered showers or thunderstorms, would be late tomorrow night. So I'm not overly concerned about severe weather for our area. Anything that forms, I think, kind of fizzles out. But there will be the chance of a few showers or thunderstorms late tomorrow night into Saturday morning. And Saturday, by no means, is a washout, but there will be the chance of some off and on showers, especially here during the afternoon. Now, looking at our forecast for tonight, well, it's warm, humid, temperature around 70 with some patchy fog, and then we do warm things up quickly tomorrow. Temperatures getting into the mid-80s by around uh, 1 p.m., 83 at 5 p.m. We are going to get a bit more of a breeze out of the south, and that will keep our coast a little bit cooler. So it will be a day where we have fairly large differences by location. You can see mid to upper 80s, the general rule, the general rule inland for places like Smithfield, Johnston, Providence, but a little cooler along the south coast for Newport, Jamestown, and beaches near Westerly. Speaking of the beach, well, we're looking at a decent day, upper 70s with some patchy morning fog and then bringing in some hazy sunshine by the afternoon. Seven day future cast keeps the warm temperatures around, but keep in mind this Sunday warm temperature, that 84 degrees, that comes with much lower humidity. I'm not talking about fall like humidity where you don't notice it at all, but it will be certainly better than it's been the past couple days. And then Monday, fairly comfortable, but warm mid 80s and then the chance of some showers returns by the middle of the week on Wednesday. All right, Pete, thanks. Yep. And there's much more to come on Eyewitness News at 10. State marijuana officials in Massachusetts are urging cities and towns to take it easy when it